Australopithecus Africanus. University of Witwatersrand professor Raymond Dart discovered the famous Tong child, Australopithecus Africanus, in 1925. Britannica, the Tong child, the first discovered fossil of Australopithecus Africanus, exhumed by miners in South Africa in 1924, the fossil was recognized as a primitive hominid by paleoanthropologist Raymond Dart. See our video on this channel on Raymond Dart and the amazing discovery of the Tong child. It was Dart's friend, Dr. Robert Broom, who discovered the first adult Australopithecus at Sterklantain in 1936. Robert Broom was a rural doctor in the South African outback. He constantly faced personal and financial hardships. Broom was obsessed with the study of human origins. Smithsonian. In 1934, Broom set out to find the first fossil of an adult Australopithecus, discovering a grown-up version of Dart's Tong child. Continuing, discovering a grown-up version of Dart's Tong child would help sway skeptics who doubted the fossil was a human ancestor Broom thought. Broom was a highly controversial figure. Critics accused him of using destructive excavation tactics, such as explosives to blast the entrances of caves. In 1947, after blasting at Sterkfontein, Broom discovered his Australopithecus. It was a nearly perfectly preserved and complete skull 2.5 million years ago. He nicknamed the specimen Mrs. Pless. But just as he was gaining recognition for the discovery, he found himself in an increasingly precarious situation. Another controversial method in his scientific research landed Broom in even more trouble, particularly with authorities in his local Karoo region of South Africa. Like Raymond Dart and later Philip Tobias, Broom aimed to prove South Africa as the cradle of mankind and the Khoisan as the missing links. Broom resorted to what could be considered grave robbing, excavating the burial sites of African tribesmen. Weird Science Broom frequently obtained Bushman corpses he stored the corpses in his garage and buried skeletons in his garden so that they could be defleshed by worms. He would then boil the skulls and other body parts on his kitchen stove. The stench from the boiling heads infuriated his wife and enraged local villagers. While Broom managed to evade the law, his reputation in the field of anthropological science suffered irreparable damage. Grave robbing, shrunken heads, and boiled cadavers. Krista Kuljian is an author and lecturer at Cape Town University in South Africa. Her book, Darwin's Hunch, highlights Broom focusing on his accomplishments, but also his eccentricities and alleged racism. Darwin's Hunch Book Review, Anwar Suleiman Mal, University of Cape Town. In South Africa, the names of Robert Broom, Raymond Dart, and Philip Tobias are synonymous with the story of our origins. Kuljian. Raymond Dart, the head of the Department of Anatomy at WITS, was inspired by universities in the U.S. and U.K. to establish human skeleton collections in an effort to clarify racial categories. Continuing, Dart also led the first expedition of researchers from WITS to the Kalahari Desert in 1936 because he was interested in the Bushman anatomy. 
Kuljian. Philip Tobias, the successor to Raymond Dart as head of the Department of Anatomy at Witz, continued to embrace the existence of racial types, which largely coincided with apartheid's racial classifications. Continuing, Tobias built the face mask and skeleton collections at Witz into the 1980s. Cave of Bones That collection, which may include skulls from Robert Broom, sits atop a prominent showcase at the Hominin Vault at the University of Witwatersrand, Johannesburg. Professor Lee Berger is the head of the Department of Evolutionary Biology at the University of Witwatersrand in Johannesburg. He holds the distinguished Philip Tobias Chair. The vault's collection of heads and masks is now managed by Lee Berger. In the past few decades, countless scientists, diplomats, and distinguished politicians have been inside that vault. Thank you for watching. This is part of a series here at this channel on strange and weird paleoanthropology. Stay tuned for our next episode. Bye.